You should unpair your Apple Watch and actually reset your Apple Watch to factory setting if you're trying to get rid of it, selling it, or giving it as a gift. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. And there are two ways to go about this. You could do this all on the watch, which I don't recommend, but I'll show you just in case you don't have an iPhone around because it has one limitation that I'll point out. And you could also do this on the watch app on your iPhone, which is what is recommended. So I'll show you both but I recommend you do this on your iPhone if you have your iPhone around that is paired to your Apple Watch. First, you just press the crown icon here. I'll show you on the Apple Watch first, and then you go all the way down to the settings app on your watch. So it should be just a default settings app. Let me find mine, it's right over here. And here you wanna to go to general here, and then go to the very bottom of this page, and there's this option for reset, and this will reset all content and settings. But what it won't do is it won't erase the activation lock, which will prevent someone from using it, so not very useful there. And it won't also create a backup of your watch to iCloud either. The phone option will do both of those things. That's why I recommend you do that on your phone. So this is the limitation of doing it on the watch, but it is possible and you just have to press it over here. But I'll skip it on the watch, I'll jump into the phone. Now on the phone, you just need the watch app. So I already have it installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And inside of the watch app, you just wanna press all watches right on top over here. And you should see any watch that you've previously used on this Apple ID. So you do have to be logged into your Apple ID. It will be synced up to that device. Now this is the watch that I'm actually trying to reset. This is my new watch. So my new watch here, I'm still in the setup process, so it's right over here. So I'm gonna set that aside, but I'm gonna reset this one. So make sure you know which one you actually wanna reset. And I know this is the watch because it's actually a smaller model here, it's the older model. I could also check the serial number. Even if I make a mistake, I could always pair it back again. So I'm gonna choose unpair Apple Watch on the bottom over here. Choose this option. Type in my Apple ID passcode and it's gonna take some time to unpair it. Now, if you have the data plan as well, it's gonna ask you the same thing one more time. So just choose that option again. So if you're using this with the data plan where you could get text messages, just choose that. I don't have that option, so it didn't pop up for me twice. And you'll see this little dial here filling up as well. So this is gonna show you the progress here on your Apple Watch. And as you can see, that watch has been removed and it's actually resetting this to factory settings and it has removed the activation screen or the lock screen, and it has created a backup on your Apple ID. So it has done all of that when you do this on your phone. So let this finish up here, then I'll show you this as a brand new watch. And you should see this screen on your Apple Watch here that says if you wanna pair it with another phone, bring it close to that phone. So if I bring it close to this phone, I will actually get a pop-up. I'm gonna, here, I'll use a different phone here. So if I was trying to pair this with a new iPhone, for example, you see how I got this pop-up here, and then I could go through the setup process. If you're trying to set up a new Apple Watch, watch my dedicated video on how to pair an Apple Watch with an iPhone that I will link in the description below. But right now, this is set up as a new watch. You could actually put it back in the box if you have the box, sell it, gift it, it's all ready to go and it's been removed, unpaired and factory reset. I hope you found this useful. Check out the resources below and I'll see you next time.